What's up, YouTube? This is Elijah coming at you with another video from the app lifestyle.org. You want to stop shop for all things ride share and delivery alike. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I do not pick up minors. For those of y'all that don't know, when Uber got kind of popular, parents started getting the bright idea to use Uber or Lyft or ride share in general to transport their minors from, for the most part, from school and then from school to home, home to school. But I guess the occasional, you know, taking them to go hang out with their friends or whatever. And there's been a mixed debate as far as, hey, should you take these rides or should you not? Now, it's actually against, you know, Uber's policy for anyone to, to have these accounts in the first place, like children to have these accounts, or to have a child in your car that's not accompanied by um, a parent or, you know, by a guardian. But nevertheless, it's still money, so they're letting it happen. Now, I'm gonna tell you why I personally don't do it. I've had my fair share with them. I've never had a bad experience per se, but I remember the last time I did it. It was like literally like nine months ago. And I remember I was shocked. It was in the morning and this little girl came to the car. When the little girl came to the car, she had to be like literally a kindergarten kindergarten level maybe even pre-k i don't know but definitely in the kindergarten range she was so young and so small so timid and she just came outside and the parent just waved at the door and then off she's off to school i was just shocked and my whole way on the way i was just thinking i was glad she got me what if she got someone that was freaking crazy and after that i said you know what this is a this this isn't right I understand that certain things need to take place to make sure they get from school to home, but you know that problem has always existed, and they can use other means to address it than letting a complete stranger take their child from point A to point B. So, um, with me, it's more of a moral thing. On top of that, it's not entirely what I signed up for when I come. When I think to being an Uber driver, that's not what comes to mind. I mean, to transport children from point A to point B, it's not worth no 60 cents per mile. I'm just keeping it 100. It is not. It's not even worth a dollar per mile. I would say it would need to be a minimum of $2 per mile because if anything happens, you are going to be held accountable as an adult. That that includes like any kind of car accident. It's going to be five times worse. Just anything happens at all. What if the child lies because they don't like you? Then you're held accountable. Not only will you probably be deactivated, you can be in serious lawful trouble. Is it really worth all that? It's not like they have the precautions in place to make sure this doesn't happen. Um, you do, and if you do do this, you need to have a dash cam. Oh my gosh. You don't have a dash cam to do this. That's, that's, that's financial suicide as far as I'm concerned. But I would say that the per mile rate needs to be in the Uber Select mile category in order for me to even consider it. And certain things need to be in place to make sure that you are protected. So that's why I don't do it. I don't ever recommend it. Just not my cup of tea. I know a lot of y'all agree with me. Now, what I personally do when it happens to me, I say, when I look, I first zoom in, in the map and I check to see if it's a school. I will drive around the corner just enough to trigger the your driver has arrived in your app and then i will call the person to verify if they're a teacher of their student because some some teachers take uber so i pull up and they're a teacher that's cool but if they're a student or it calls the parent's phone number whatever i'm going to tell them this is against policy you need to cancel this ride and if they get if they refuse to get bitchy i hang up i finish waiting the five minutes and then i cancel the ride Either way, I get my cancellation fee for them wasting my time and trying to pimp the system. Either they cancel and I get the cancellation fee, or I wait the five minutes, cancel and get the cancellation fee. I wouldn't feel bad about this at all. They know this against policy. They know that it's a gamble if they're gonna get an Uber driver who's gonna be on board because more and more people are refusing to do this. And I would encourage that number to keep increasing. That's why Elijah doesn't do it. I recommend you don't do it either, but at the end of the day, it's your business, operate it how you want. That does it for this video. If you found value in this video, I'd encourage you to like and subscribe. And 
until the next time be safe out there uber on and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace out